The Children and Family Center works with victims of domestic violence and sexual assault. Mainly, we work with victims in the five counties of Northwest Missouri, but victims do come from other places. We provide six direct services. We do crisis management, which is helping the victims with their safety planning. We do case management, which helps them make their day-to-day -day decisions. We have a temporary 24-hour shelter. We have a 24-hour crisis hotline. We have support groups for women, for men, and for children, and we have court advocacy. United Way is very helpful to the Children and Family Center. Financially, it gives us the opportunity to work with victims of domestic violence and sexual assault in many ways, and also help support our PAWS project, which is Pets and Women's project, so we can keep pets. Many of the victims will not come into shelter if they do not cannot bring their pets or their pets are not safe. United Way has helped us get a safe place for the pets to stay while the women are in shelter. Also, United Way is helping us fund a healing garden, which is a space in our backyard within our privacy fence where our clients can go while they are in shelter. This is a safe house, a temporary shelter for victims of domestic violence and sexual assault. They can come to this facility any hour of the day any, every day of the week. They can come on a very short-term basis or they can stay as long as 21 days or even longer if necessary till they are safe, until they have their action plan, till they make their choice as to what they choose to do for the situation that they're in. They may choose it to work things out and go back in their situation or they may choose to completely relocate. So how long they stay here depends on their situation and the choices that they make. The PAWS program stands for Pets and Women's Shelter. Uh, several years ago, we found out that there was no facility between Ohio and Nevada where a client could come and bring her pet or his or her pet. And over 70% of the victims that have pets in their home, these victims will not leave the pet in an unsafe environment. So we developed, with the assistance of United Way and community support, have a separate facility behind the shelter. It is a two-story garage and the pets can stay there and in the bottom level of the uh, facility and then upstairs in the facility is an open space where the clients can uh, be with the pets during the day or they can play with the pets out in, in, the private, in the enclosed privacy fence so that while a client is in shelter only, then the pets are here safe with them and the client can be with their pet and is completely responsible for the care of that animal.